Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today we are going to make a simple soap design. Sometimes simple is the best, and this is something that anybody can recreate. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, it doesn't matter. It looks good for everyone. So without further ado, let's make some soap. All right, let's begin by pouring our lye water solution into our oils. I have already added a little bit of titanium dioxide because, well, I was just trying to make the soap look a little more pastel. Let's blend it up real quick. and pour off our accent colors just like so. These are also going to be shades of orange. All right, let's talk color. I think I'll put the most pigmented one in first. That would be this guy right here. This is a blend of Tequila Sunrise and Cheesy Poof. Oranges do have a tendency to weaken as they sit, so I've taken that in mind. I may still need to make some adjustments, but we're gonna start here and see what gets us. to tell a difference between these two, but I promise that there is one. We've added our fragrance oil in, so now I'm going to blend by hand. I just can't remember how this fragrance reacts with my soap, but because it is this orangey color, it's pretty easy to see when everything is blended in. Make sure I keep wiping down the edges here. Don't wanna have any unincorporated. Wow, this smells, yeah, it smells literally exactly like an orange cream soda. It doesn't smell like orange juice to me because it still has like a vanilla scent in it. So like an orange float, like Fanta orange with bluebell ice cream. I'm hungry. <laughs> Beautiful emulsion there. Okay, this is a very well-behaved fragrance. It may also discolor slightly, but my soap is already orange, so it would be hard for me to tell at this point. <laughs> All right, let's pour this together. I'm not going to scrape out my little containers here because I do want to add some soap to the top. So I'm gonna leave uh, about a cup worth, I'd say. This is still a little bit runny. It will swirl too much if I pour at this point. So I'm going to set a three minute timer and then we'll come back and pour it into our slab mold. All right, everything has thickened a little bit. So I'm gonna start by pouring just like so. And this has gotten really mixed, which is really good. I thought at first I might do a hanger swirl, but then I thought it would look so much more like a really delicious ice cream treat if I just left it alone. Yes. Anything like sweet orange scented here at Royalty Soaps does really well. I I mean, so I thought it would be perfect for summertime. See, normally I don't like to mix up my soap that much. Y'all know how I am, but for this soap, it just makes sense. Also, I like to change it up every now and then. Like, yes, it's not my preference most of the time, but sometimes it's good to not do your preference. <laughs> Keeps life interesting and all that. I'm gonna scrapey scrapey my big containy. All right, now we're gonna take this little bit of soap that we have left over, just put it on top top every which way. I'm going to use a fork to texture the top of this bar so I don't actually care if every single little bit is covered. Just trying to add some interest and variety. I hope y'all are having the most marvelous day. I find myself just happier and happier as we go into springtime and away from winter. <laughs> winter in Texas makes me abysmally sad no matter how many vitamins I take. I'm thinking about investing in a sauna. I have a couple of people who have been long time like royalty soaps watchers who live in Switzerland and that was something that they really suggested. Let's tap this down in the most careful way humanly possible. Y'all remember what happened last time. What I believe I will find with this top is that it is oh hey too runny for me to add any sort of texture or anything so I'm gonna wait probably 
say 10 minutes. And then we will add some of these gold bursting beads from Brambleberry. These are so gorgeous. And take a fork to it after this quick commercial break. Okay, I've let everything sit for about 10 minutes. Yes, perfect. Okay, I thought it was perfect. On second thought, it looks like the soap is setting up at a different rate. So like some of it's done and some of it isn't. Ugh, back to waiting, I guess. Okay, admittedly, I really messed up the soap top. In the future, it will not look like this, but I just should have waited longer and say la vie. I have tried like nine times to fix this. And I think it's one of those things that like every time you try, it just makes it worse. So I'm gonna leave it. And then on the other side, I'm just going to sprinkle these little beads, pretty little bursting beads. Not very many at all. Every single bar will only have like two or three on there. I am trying to get it on the flat portion of this soap. We are loving this. I'm going to spritz the top with rubbing alcohol. I will cover it up and we'll let her sleep. And then we'll come back tomorrow to split the slab into loaves and then cut those loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. This soap, it looks so good. Even with the like over swirling in the middle, I'm obsessed. One thing I might do is remove the titanium dioxide from the lye water solution because I think it's pastel enough already. I don't think it needs that extra boost, but this looks so good. Let's cut that. Slide one out of the middle here. Yes, yes. I love this so much. This also kind of just looks like uh, a regular bar of soap, and I mean that in a good way. <laughs> like, like I always have these outrageous looking bars of soap, and people are like, oh, it's too pretty to use. I feel like this is really pretty for a bar of soap, but you don't look at it, and you wouldn't feel bad about using it. You're like, yeah, it's a soap. It needs to be used. The fragrance is everything, and for those of y'all who are like, ugh, citrusy, essential oils, whatever. It doesn't smell like herbal orange. Like it's not orange essential oil. Look at this marbling in there. That's crazy. I love it. I'm also glad that I decided to sprinkle those little jojoba beads on top because I think they look so good. Today was a simple soap. Hopefully this video helps you fall asleep because that is kind of what I was thinking when I made the design. I was like, oh, this is gonna be such a relaxing video. I would love to do an entire soap video where all I do is like tell you a quiet story, not whispering, just a quiet voice. And so you can visually watch something beautiful being made, but then I'm just talking very softly and like telling you about my day. And I'll call it like a video like soap that helps you sleep. <laughs> Is this ridiculous? Is this too niche? That's the question of the day. Would you be interested in a video like that? Or am I like way too niche and that would appeal to like four people? Despite the fork debacle, I love everything about this. And even as it's cured, it still continues to just look so good. The swirls on the inside remind me of this old Lush soap. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but it was made with melt and pour and it had this like opaque blue color and then a clear blue color. And then they poured it together. I think it was called Outback Mate soap, but I could be wrong. Anyways, the swirls in this look a lot like that, except orange. So obviously obsessed. You can get it on the first Saturday of May with the rest of the Drinks and Slushies collection. And, 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 listen, don't forget to do something fun for yourself today. Whether that is getting a little vitamin C in the form of an orange. Maybe you need to go out and get some vitamin D with the sunshine. I don't really care what you do. Just do something for you and I will see you all in next week's video. So until then, bye for now. Eww.